Hey everybody, welcome to Power Throttle. Today's the first Saturday of May 2020. And as you know, during these times of COVID-19, everything's pretty much closed down. But living here in Louisville, Kentucky, I've been one of the lucky ones as far as hobby shops go because my hobby shop, Scale Reproductions, has remained open during all these times, but it's curb service only. So what they require is you to call in your order and when you get to the parking lot, give them a call and they'll bring the stuff out. So I thought uh, it'd be a neat video to record because hopefully these times will be over and this will be just a sign of history. So come along with me to the hobby shop. <laughs> a lot of lights in this town. We are here. Scale Reproductions Hobby Shop. Not used to not seeing any cars out front, so let's call in our order. Um, yes, is uh, Brian or Martin available? Hey Martin, this is Tim. I'm out in the parking lot. <laughs> okay, thank you. Alright, let's take a look at what we got. We haven't even left the parking lot yet. Got a Halberstadt from Wingnut Wings. And this Gotha is the one I've been wanting to get. The big daddy of them all. We got some paints. What we got in here? Some Tamaya plastic putty. Some Mission Models paint. New construction yellow. Another Mission Model new construction yellow. And some Tamaya buff. We're looking good. Okay. Now to head on home and enjoy some modeling. Thanks for coming to the hobby shop with me, guys. This should be a time that goes down in history. Chit chat for the way home got to thinking that all the guys that know me are thinking, Tim, why'd you buy airplanes? I'm not an airplane builder. Well, after the price of them airplanes, I kind of had second thoughts myself. But out of all seriousness, I've always wanted to build a couple more airplanes. And the only thing that'll stop me is doing the canopies. I've always been into bi-wing airplanes or the old early 1900s airplanes, which are the ones that I just got from Wingnut Wings. And this is a great opportunity to be able to get a couple and build some. I've got another Wingnut Wings kit at home that I bought a long time ago that I haven't messed with. And the reason I got these two is, well, of course they say Wingnut Wings is going out of business. 
sure they are. I'm sure it's true. But I also honestly believe that someone's going to pick it up. It's, it's, the, the kits are too good not to. So, I don't know. It is what it is. That's the most I've ever, ever paid for a model kit in my life. Both those kits. The other most expensive kit I ever bought was I picked up a few of the Ravel Peterbilt Triaxle Wreckers. And I think those were... Those are about a hundred bucks a piece. And I thought, why not? This is a great time to build some airplanes, at least a couple. And I'm not going to start on them today. I don't know when I'm going to start on them, but when I do start on them, I plan on doing uh, some videos on them and little tips and tricks on how to work on them or how to build them or what to do with them. And although there may not be a canopy, we've got rigging. And I'm, I'm less afraid of the rigging than I am the canopies. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. But for all you guys out there that know I'm a, a car guy, for the most part, um, that's the reason for the airplanes. I just thought I'd throw that out there. And just like that, we're home. Hey, do me a favor, hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, because we've got a lot of neat videos coming up.